Hello there, in this video I will show you how I make my videos. And this is a special because three years ago, today three years ago, I first uploaded my video which was the two finger push up. And after that I've just been making fitness videos on YouTube. And I thought it was a nice idea to show you how my videos are made. So first of all this is how my gym looks like when I'm not filming and Right now you will be seeing how the gym looks like when I'm actually filming something. I am aware of the fact that it is a big mess and it also takes quite a while to set up everything up like this. So I usually try to make more videos at once. A question that a lot of people ask me pretty often is how do you make your videos? How do you come up with those ideas? Well first of all I do quite some reading and I read articles on the internet and read books, watch some programs, but most of all I have experienced everything myself and I have learned everything the hard way. So by making mistakes I learned everything about working out, about nutrition I read, learned a lot of, out of books. But anyways I don't really work with scripts, so the papers that you see are just some simple ideas, some sentences that I want to say in the video. And if the video is a bit longer then I usually prepare something, but if they are short then I only write down some exercises or some sentences that I want to say. So when I'm done filming I will start to do the editing and this is something that I started to like a little bit better during the years. And I have a simple program to use and I will put all of this in the description of this video, but you basically just pick some clips that you have made earlier and just put it in and what you do is just pull and then you can make the clip shorter and you can cut off some pieces making it very simple to just put layers on videos so make two videos on top of each other like this and you can just make them smaller very easily. So like I said the program is very easy to use. Just import a clip that you have made earlier and then you can edit this clip and just put in more clips if you want. You can delete the sound effects so the audio and you can just speed up the clip if you want or you can slow it down and especially the slowing down is something that I like to use for my skill tutorials for example because in most skill tutorials that you will see on the internet the videos are in full speed and then you cannot really analyze the movements that are made and then it's pretty difficult to learn because I always learn from just watching. Something that's pretty funny is that I don't actually like to be on camera. So as soon as I see someone with a photo camera or a video camera, I run away trying not to be on screen. I first started to shoot my videos with a mobile phone with film function. Then I had a photo camera with film function and neither of them was were actually that good. Eventually I did buy an HD camera, so that's the one that I'm using now to shoot my videos. So when I'm doing the narrating, so post narrating, after making the video, I just use a microphone that I can clip on and which is attached to my computer and then I start one of the audio programs that I have and what I can do then is turn it on record and then it, I can record my voice and once I'm do while I'm doing that I just play the video and talk about the video that I'm narrating that day and usually I have already finished editing that certain video so I will talk about it sometimes or actually most of the times I will just improvise and every now and then I have made a script of things that I'm going to say but I don't really read everything off paper. Once I'm done with that I can use some editing tools to improve the sound quality and I can cut off pieces so when I don't know what to say or when I'm thinking then I can just cut out those pieces 
and remove them from the video and I can add some more by narrating later then I just export the audio profile file and once I did that I can just use the program again and put it in so that I can listen to it is it a pancake? is it a... and this was a different clip nevertheless this is how I do this Hopefully this has answered some of the questions that you guys had over the years about my editing style and also the cameras that I use and how I make my videos. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to watch my featured video and subscribe to my channel for more. Leave a comment and I see you next time.